I'm here with Dr. Asya. We're going to be talking about IOL calculation in highly myopic patients. Now, to, to my mind, the, the, the problem with highly myopic patients is they, they have friends who are not as myopic, who've had cataract surgery and turned out absolutely perfectly emetropic after cataract surgery. And the highly myopic patient walks into the office and he wants the uh, same thing because that's what his friends have had. How do I handle, how do you handle the very myopic patient? Well, as we know, the higher the ametropia, the less accurate are all the equations that we use. So the chances of having, you know, just hit to the point with lenses which are, are for myopic patients are not as good as those for patients who are normal eyes. So we looked at uh, myopic patients and uh, those who were very myopic and the range was between 26 and longer eyes up to 33. What we did find out there are two groups, those lenses which are six diopters and up, you can use actually uh, any of the equations if you do use the uh, third generations, such as the SRKT, the Day one the Aegis or the Hoff IQ. They are doing pretty well and uh, it, also if you adjust them, it doesn't make a lot of uh, uh, changes. The new generation lens uh, equations such as uh, Barrett's, Olsen and the Holiday 2 are also doing uh, very, very well. So if you use any of those, they are, they are doing good. The problem is with lenses which are six diopters and less. In this case, the, 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 the rules of the game change. And this is because the princip uh, principal plane of the optic of these lenses move from one side to the other. Then you need uh, uh, different constants. And we looked at uh, the ULIP constant of uh, Aegis and uh, the axial length uh, adjustments suggested by Dakook and uh, Li Wang. And uh, what we find out that if you use the third generation equations such as the SRKT, Aegis, uh, off IQ, and uh, all of the one, if you use just these equations, they are not doing well. If you adjust them by the axial length adjustment, they are doing very well. So uh, this adjustment is, is the mandatory if you want to have lenses with very high myopia. And the new equations, uh, the Barrett was by far the best, and then the also on the all day two also did well. So if you have patients with an IOL, five diopters and lower, you should either use axial length adjustment of Coke or use any of the new uh, equations, uh, especially those of Barrett. And if I have to choose only one single formula for any myopic patients, either six diopters and up or less, then I would choose the Barrett or the, uh, the Coke with the axial length adjustment, one of these two. Now, for, for your study, the uh, lens that, that you studied was the MA60MA? If, if it is six diopters and lower. Yeah, and lower. Because this is the only one that they have uh, from Alcon. From eye higher right. than uh, six diopters, and then we looked also at one piece, uh, three piece, uh, uh, multifocal toric, multi toric, and uh, so. But, but the 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 A constant that, that you used for the for the MA60 MA was 120.5, not the manufacturer 118.9, and that represents the ULIB. Um, Adjustment exactly. for high, high This is what high, this high is what the ULIB is all about. I mean, yeah. you change the A constant according to the lens, uh, and this is a cumulative experience of many many surgeons all over the world. So it's experience of many thousands of, of uh, cases. Now, as I said, when the principal plane of the lens is moving from one side to the other, you must change the the, the A constant. So if you use a ULIB, you need to have uh, a different constant for uh, different lenses. And uh, that that 120.5, we use that, and then we'll be we'll be relatively safe with that lens for highly myopic patients. Then you'll be if you use any of the third generation uh, uh, equations. Formulas, yes, yeah. yes, yes, yeah. That's what you need to do to change it's the equations. Really, really, really valuable stuff. Yes. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you very much.